Welcome back. Today I'm going to try to play a classical 30 minute game on Lee Chess. Of course I'll edit out any long pauses so the video hopefully won't be as long as the actual time that I'm going to spend here. If you're new to my channel I'm not a titled player or a chess coach. I'm just a random person trying to get better at chess and one of the ways that I gauge how much better I've gotten is by playing these rated games. I will try to talk through my thought process as I go and hopefully that will help any lower rated players and Hopefully that will make opportunities for higher rated players to let me know where I'm thinking wrong. I'm going to pick 30 plus 0. And the reason I'm trying a long game is because very often people say that we should try longer games so we have time to think through our positions instead of just blitzing out moves nonsensically. Sometimes it takes a little while to get paired. And if so, I will cut out any time that I wait here. Okay, we got paired and I, I'm going to play a Karakon defense, which uh, aims to, you know, Take control of some of these squares. Sometimes they take, sometimes they push past. When they push past, I play c5. And when they put that knight there, I pin it with this bishop. This I have played dozens, if not hundreds of times before, so I don't have to think about these moves that much. Okay, now what this is attempting to do is defend this pawn, and also defend that pawn once it takes here. But I think the problem with that... Let's see, what is the problem with that? Maybe there's not a problem with it. I don't think I've actually seen that bishop come out this early, but I think the problem with that is that I get the pawn. And they get my pawn back, but they don't have a center pawn. I think that's what's happening here. So let's take that. When they take back, I assume with the bishop, I will put my knight here to force the bishop back one. Or they could pin it with their bishop by check, uh, you know, coming over here. They didn't. Okay. Now I will play e6, which lets out my other bishop. Okay, they've added a layer of defense here. I think what I can do now is take this bishop, I mean, sorry, take the knight on f3, and when they take back, as they almost certainly will, then I can get this pawn on e5, since they didn't come pin my knight like I thought they might. I can't take the pawn first, because then they can take it. But I think if I take their knight, um, and then I can take this pawn. So I should be a pawn ahead if I'm counting correctly. All right, they have brought the bishop back. Okay, since nothing is challenging this knight just yet, I think I can leave it there for a second and develop my other knight or my bishop. I could put my bishop here on d6 and then develop the other knight. Oh, they've, they've come after that knight immediately. All right, well, uh, I was going to put it over here. I don't think I want to put it over on g6 because they'll just push again and they might push again anyway. Well, let's bring it back over here and see if they're going to push that pawn again. They didn't. All right. Well, then I want to get out this other knight to e7, which defends that square, and then castle. At least I think I want to castle here. But maybe I should get my queen off the back rank first, have another piece pointed this way. I don't think they can come after the queen immediately. Okay, they have shoved the pawn forward. I think I can just go past that, can't I? And make that bishop move. And then when that bishop moves, I'll get this pawn. Let's see if that works. Oh, they, they came after my bishop. I still think I'm going to get a pawn out of this deal because when I take their bishop, and they, if they take mine... Oh, no, they won't be able to take mine because they'll be in check. Okay. No, no, they won't be in check. Why was... <laughs> For some reason, I was thinking that this was my bishop, but it's not my bishop. Um, but that's just a free pawn. I think that's just a free pawn. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just take it. And they still have to move their bishop. So now I'm up two pawns. And I can just put my bishop back because my knight is still guarding my d-pawn. So let's just do that. And now I'm looking to get this pawn. They might defend it with their g-pawn. They, they defended it with their bishop. Okay, they came around the other way. That was good thinking. And they're playing a lot faster than me, which is the way I normally play these games. So I'm trying to slow it down just a little bit. I guess I could add another attacker to that pawn. And, and then can I win it? Or will they push past it? When I do that, I think if I play here, they're, they're going to push that, but then I'll take their bishop. Okay, let's do that. If they do push past, I'm going to take their bishop and mess up their pawn structure. Oh, they came, they came to, to try to pin this knight? I, I, sorry, I don't understand how that works. Um, also, I, I have this fork now. I think I'll do that. Nothing's defending e3 right now, is it? But yeah, the speed at which they're playing is the way that I normally play shorter games, but they're playing that quickly in this longer game. I see how fast they, I mean, obviously that was an obvious take back, but, but still I'm surprised that they played it that quickly. I guess I should castle now because I'm starting to get into some danger here. So let's go ahead and castle. I expect them to push this pawn at any point, at any time, but if they do, again, I'm going to take that bishop. They did. Okay. See, now when I take here, I guess they can take here, but I'm still going to do it. I'm still going to do it. Okay. 
really fast take back. I'm going to push this pawn forward so they can't take there. But now that means that my F pawn is pinned very quickly again. Yeah, I can't push the F pawn right now. But I can move my king over one, which I kind of want to do. But then they can push this forward, but then I'll be okay, won't I? No, because then they'll come in here. Okay, so I have to be pretty careful here. How do I stop that? Can I stop that? Yeah, I think I have to move my king over. Okay. I, I could be wrong about that, but I think that's what I have to do right now. Because now I can push this forward or take. I, I think I can just take now. Because, I mean, if I don't, it's mate. If I don't take or push forward, it's checkmate right now. And if I just push forward, then they're going to come over here and be aiming in this way for mate. So I think I have to take it. And now can I get this knight around over here to help defend that stuff? Let's see. If I play this knight here, what are they going to play? Oh, then they could take this pawn because my queen won't be helping defend anymore. But for the time being, I think I can just move my rook over here, threatening the queen. Okay, and they're probably going to want to move this rook over here for a mate. I can defend against that with the rook, I think. And maybe put another rook over here if I need to. Okay, they, they took the pawn with the bishop, but I can just take the bishop. I'm pretty sure, oh no, that they have multiple pieces guarding here now. Okay, well, that's frustrating, because yeah, now if I take, they take here and I have to move my queen. Maybe they should have taken with the rook instead of the bishop then. What if I just brought my queen over like this, threatening both those pieces? Well, not both of them. I'm mainly just threatening the rook. It, w it went back. Okay, well now I can bring this rook over here, I think, and now I'm definitely threatening the bishop. That, that's not what I expected them to do. Um, I'm just going to take take that rook down there with check. And um, and then what? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Also, I have to be real careful because they're, they could come down here. So I have to be careful what I do with this rook. Although I could go pick up that pawn and they still can't check me or anything right here, can they? And I'm defending that pawn, so I shouldn't have to be worried about them taking it. Oh, no, they're, they're defending that pawn. That's not good. Okay, let's just go right here and offer a queen trade. If they check me there, I will, uh, oh, I, I guess we'll trade off some stuff here. I, I messed up, clearly. They're aiming for this pawn, okay. Can I protect that pawn? I don't guess that I can, but I can take this pawn. And, uh, and I can come back here and, per no, I can't. I can come back here to protect the knight, or, wait, the knight, the knight's protecting the pawn right now, so I just need to protect the knight, or I could move the knight. Should I leave my queen here and move the knight? Can I, can I move the knight safely? No. Okay, so I need to protect the knight. I'm going to protect the knight here. Okay. I think I can block that with the queen. No, that leaves the knight hanging. I can block it with the knight. Or I can just move the king. Let's just move the king. And keep moving the king here. And now they can't check me again. Okay. Well, I'm going to push this pawn. They're going to push that pawn. And I'm going to offer a queen trade again, but they can take this pawn now. Oh, they wanted the queen trade. Okay. So, um, I guess let's bring the king all the way to here and see what the opponent wants to do. Because they can't push this pawn without it getting taken. And they can't push those two pawns as long as my king is there. So they're going to have to try to do some, some maneuvering to check me. I don't know why I couldn't draw that arrow. And when they do check me, I think I can just drop back one. But right now I'm going to push this pawn. Oh, I expected them to check me because now I'm going to win the knight for a pawn. Pretty sure. All right, I'm happy with that. And I think I can let them have that pawn because I'm going to get these two. They're going to come for my knight. You know what? Let's go ahead and go for that pawn because that's their last remaining uh, possibility here. I'll take this one. I will wait until they get close to my knight to take that pawn. Let's advance this one. And there we got that. And so now I am going to win. And they resigned. Okay. Well, we know I made some mistakes in that game. Uh, some of them I saw the results of, but I don't know exactly where the mistake was made. So I'm going to click on the analysis board and run request the computer analysis, which is down here at the bottom. And that will give us a graph of who had the advantage at what points in the game. It looks like I had the advantage there at the beginning. And it will list our mistakes and blunders over here. 
Okay, it does look like that my opponent didn't have a lead in the game except for a very small lead in the opening as white usually does out to move four. But after move five, I had the advantage the entire time except for this one point where I assume this is a blunder and this one point which I also assume is a blunder. I'm going to say, yeah, that's where the two red dots show up on the graph when I hover over the word blunders. Well, then I'm guessing that my mistake was right here. No, my mistake was much earlier. Okay, well, that mistake is inconsequential, I think. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to look at this blunder, which was on move 22. Uh, me playing e5 was a blunder. And over here on move 30, me playing queen to g5 was a blunder. And the reason I got those in my head is because I'm going to turn off this stuff here, and then I will go to those spots. So here I played e5, and I shouldn't have. Should I have just taken the pawn? Because if I didn't turn off the graph and, and the other things, then it would show right here in the move list what I should have played. I really don't like having to do that, but... So my guess is I should have either taken the pawn or taken this pawn. Well, I'm guessing I pressed the wrong key there because you might have seen that the screen blinked a bunch and then the evaluation turned back on. So I think I clicked the Z key by accident. I meant, I meant to click the Alt key. But anyway, I'm guessing that I should have either taken their front G pawn or taken this F pawn. It's got to be one of those two, right? Rather than just pushing past. And maybe the problem, what was the problem with pushing past? Because I, I do have two defenders on, on E5. And it helps defend that pawn in case I ever have to move the knight. The problem with not taking here, I guess, is that if I did something else like take their front G pawn, then they could take here. And when I took back, um, they would take and I would be in check. So maybe it was taking there. I'm going to guess E takes F5. Let's turn this back on. Okay, I was right. E capturing F5 was my best move. And it's probably for the reason that I said is that if they took here and I took back, they would take with check, picking up two pawns for one. But that's why I moved it past. But I guess the problem with moving it past is that it lets it in here, which, as we saw, became a problem later as, as they had a little bit of a mate threat there on G7. So that's why that's my top move. But on a D3, it says would be just as good. And they would just take it. And then I would take here. And they would take that too. So I don't know why D how D3 would be just as good if I'm giving up two pawns. But, but you can see the evaluation. Those two moves are, are almost as, as good as each other. Taking the pawn or just giving away an extra one and then taking the pawn. But I think I understand why that's best. Okay, the other one I said was move 30. Um, so let's turn that off and go to move 30 where playing queen to g5 was a blunder that took us to even, and the reason was because it abandoned this square down here. Okay, I, I think I understand that, and I, I noticed right after that that I had messed up, because when they checked here and I blocked with the rook, I realized, oh no, their, their bishop's guarding that square too. But they gave it back to me. I'm guessing where they gave it back to me was by not doing the queen trade. Okay, so what should I have done? Should I, I should have left this here? Should I have gone to get that pawn with the rook? Or should I have played a6 in preparation for b5? Because that bishop's kind of in an annoying spot. But even if I had managed to get both of those moves in, I don't think it would have helped. They could have continued to have the bishop on that diagonal. For that matter, I guess they could have brought it in here. No, if they'd brought it in here, I would have taken it. Okay. But yeah, they, they could have put it on d5 and I can't get at it then. Should I have just started pushing pawns? Maybe e5 now? That's really, that's really the only three moves that I can really think of here. Okay, I'm going to turn it back on and see if it was any of those. E4. Okay, I said E5, didn't I? But E4 is definitely one of them. Or Rook to G6. No, that's not G6. That's G5. That's where I put my queen, but it's Rook to G6. Okay, so of the three moves I guessed, E4 is the only one listed in these top two, and Rook to G6 is the other one. I'm really not sure what that does. It blocks the queen from seeing down here. I think I understand that. But by playing here, I took it to even, and all they had to do was check, which they did. And now I have one legal move, and that's blocking with my rook. And they, their only move that keeps us even is to take with the bishop. And my only move that keeps us even is to take with the queen. And oh no, they played their best move here. Okay, I thought that they did, going after this pawn. And oh, I could have just played e4 or take a2. So I took a2. They took here. And I could have played queen to c4 or queen to d5. Okay, but that kept us even. And then is this next move where they started? Looks like they just went behind slowly and they didn't go fully behind again until later. Okay, so that wasn't great. I should have blocked with the knight or just moved my king. Okay, good. And they could have checked again over here on g4 and it, we basically just would have gone back and forth with them checking. But instead they tried to check here and the engine thinks I should just go back. Well, because the engine knows that it's drawn, so it doesn't mind if we repeat. But I wanted to go forward. 
B4 was their best move because this knight's pinned right now, so it makes sense to come after it. Okay, D3 was my best move just to start advancing a pawn. Now when they came here, that's a problem because of... Because I can get my queen out of the pen with a check and then move the knight. I can go to either one of these, D4 or C5 and check. But D4 would have been the best. And then after they moved the king, I could have put the knight on D8, which threatens their queen and is protected by my queen and the queen's protecting the pawn. Okay, the problem with what I did is it doesn't protect this pawn anymore. And they should have taken it. They should have taken the pawn or just moved the queen down here. But here they made the mistake of the queen trade and now this pawn can't go. If they had taken that pawn first, it would have been a, an entirely different story. Okay, that's what I thought. I thought I was ahead here, but I wasn't sure 100%. My king is in a perfect spot to stop those two G pawns. They have nothing in front of my E and D pawns here that are on their way down, which can help protect each other. The knight can help protect one of them. And their B pawn can't go anywhere unless they somehow magically get this knight all the way down here. I don't know exactly what path they would have to take before they could get that A pawn, but it wouldn't be straightforward, I'm pretty sure. I don't think there's a straightforward path to getting my A pawn. Yeah, it would be a little bit of a zigzag for their knight to take care of that. And of course, it would take a lot longer for their king to get over there. So their B pawn is stuck. They're going to have to spend their knight and their king blocking these two pawns. Meanwhile, I'm going to knock out those two and advance my H pawn. Okay, so yeah, their mistake was the, tra was the queen trade, and I think I understand my mistakes as well. This one worked out pretty good for me, and I don't remember exactly what my record is here, but I think my classical games on camera, I think I now have won more than I've lost. If you have any insights or questions, there's a comment section here on this video. Otherwise, thank you for spending your time here, and I'll see you next time.